Okay, so let's talk about the return. And the return is responsibility and where they should be standing. Okay. So really, where should be standing the return is a little per, uh, personal preference. Okay. Like whether you favor your forehand or you favor your backhand, mm -hmm. you can you know lean over a little bit if you like to hit backhands. You might lean over this way. If you like to hit your forehand, you might lean out a little bit. Um, it also depends on where the server is standing or what their tendencies are. If you have somebody standing close to the tee, they're probably going to hit the serve more this way. And does it matter how far back you stand or how close you stand? Yeah. In, well, I mean, in doubles, remember doubles is game of time in real estate. So you always want to take time away from the opponent. So if you have an opponent that's serving and volleying, you want to stand as close to the baseline as possible. Rush them a little more. So, okay. Yeah, so the ball gets back to them yeah. um, quicker than if you're standing back here. It gives them more time to get to the net. Okay. Um, so the returners, you know, one thing when you're playing lefties, and this is kind of uh, important, is you want to make sure when you're playing a lefty, you automatically take a step to the left. So if your normal serve returns, or so, sorry, your normal return position is here, mm -hmm. which mine was, then when I was playing a returner, I would just take one step to the left. Exactly, they can swing it out wide. Right, up, yeah, right. That, that so you want to cut off the swing, angle. Yeah. And you might even take a, a little step forward if they have that little short uh, short angle. Bit, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so basically. always kind of cutting the angles on the return. Yeah, you always want to be moving forward when you return. Um, and then the main responsibility for this person is, I say, to get the return over the net. Okay, and not necessarily in the court because amateurs hit so many balls that are going out. Yeah. So really, if you're just thinking, I gotta get this return over the net, um, you know, you're you're going to start out start out well. Um, so so I mean, the returner obviously, you know, uh, breaking serve is critical. Sure. Um, you have to um, get as many returns over the net as possible. If you can take the net. On the return, a second serve is a great time to approach. Like a chip charge or a yeah, hit chip and charge, hit and charge. If you have a, an opponent that's not serving and volleying, remember if you come in, yeah. you've got yourself to the holy, holy grail, grail, right? Monty so, yeah. so if you can get to the holy grail on the return, that's you know a really a great opportunity because the shortest ball you're guaranteed to get is mm -hmm. the serve. Okay. The serve has to land short, yep. right? So use that opportunity um, to come in, and we'll, we have a whole section on returns a little bit later. But um, just wanted to. I'll talk about the responsibilities for the return. All right. All right. Well, thank you.